Well, we start with a fresh baked bagel, and we can make it into a delicious nosh. The bagel arrived in the United States with Jewish immigrants from Poland in the late 19th century. The reason that they have a hole is because they were sold on the streets, stacked up on poles, or hung from strings. They were a simple, comforting, peasant street food. It is said that bagels date back to 17th century Poland and were created in honor of King Jan Sobieski. Bagels? Regardless of its precise origins, Polish Jews became the master bagel makers, eventually bringing bagels with them to America. And it is also theorized that the bagel is a descendant of the German pretzel, which is another yeasted dough which is boiled and then baked. The boiling and baking process actually increases the longevity of freshness, which for poor Jews was really important and meant they could enjoy their bread a little bit longer and still have it be fresh. As Jews immigrated from Europe to North America, many settled in Toronto and Montreal, Canada, which created their own style of bagels distinct from the New York style. Meanwhile, in New York City, there were so many bagel makers that Local 338, a bagel makers trade union, was created in 1915. It is now a scientific fact that you are hungry. Bagel? We can thank the invention of cream cheese, Lenders bagels, Hey Murray, thanks. And 1950s housewives for marrying the bagel with cream cheese and lox, which was first suggested to serve as an appetizer in Family Circle magazine. Eventually, the bagel, cream cheese, and lox became a Sunday morning staple that we know and love today.